been traveling across America trying to understand how industrial agriculture is threatening wildlife. Here in the Gulf of Mexico, fertilizer runoff from farms 1,200 miles away is causing a big problem. There's a large area in the Gulf that does not have enough oxygen for most things to live, such as fish that live on the bottom, shrimp, crabs, and it covers a large area. So that habitat is basically unsuitable for marine life. The dead zone is creating a huge problem in the Gulf of Mexico, having a very, very detrimental impact on the seafood industry. So we're at the surface of the dead zone and the water here is green, it's uh, soupy, it's like dust underwater. And that's because of the pollution that's coming into this area. Industrial agriculture is one of the big causes of all that pollution. Artificial fertilizer getting into the water, into the rivers, and here, where it kills. I was keen to get a sense of the scale of the problem. And the only way to do that is from the air. I expected to see warehouses, trucks and pallets being loaded up with bags of fertiliser. What I didn't expect was these huge factories, the biggest of which can occupy an area the size of more than 2,000 football pitches. All of the fertiliser that's you know, being produced uh, in these big uh, industrial facilities is being shipped up to the Midwest uh, where it's being applied to the fields. And then a lot of that, those nutrients end up running back off into the river coming back down and then causing the dead zone in the Gulf. The dead zone is really increasing in size it's because there's more and more corn being grown in the Midwest. And so the more corn they grow, the more fertilizer runs off into the river and comes down and makes the dead zone even larger. Our hunger for cheap meat from animals fed on corn, grown on chemically laced fields, is driving creatures large and small to the brink of extinction. Sometimes I wonder, does the dead zone need to spread from sea to land before policymakers wake up to this catastrophe and act?